Hello, this is Mr. Kenyanola, and I'm going to give you a quick introduction to central angles. So central angles are formed when you have two radii uh, in a circle that form an angle. It's called a central angle because, as you know, the radius of a circle starts from the center and goes to the circle. So central angles are found in uh, the, the spokes of your bicycle tire, okay, that go all the way around, or on a Ferris wheel, okay, those bars that uh, support you while you're riding on the Ferris wheel. Okay, so central angles uh, tell you a few things, okay, not just the measure of this angle, but it also gives you the measure of its intercepted arc. So just think about it as a uh, as the mouth of Pac-Man, so let's rotate it, okay? So this mouth is eating this arc right here, so it tells you how many degrees that arc is. So, for example, if I labeled uh, this point right here, point A, and this point here, point B, and a question in class uh, asks, what is the measure of arc A, B, okay? Uh, since the central angle is 35 degrees, then that arc is also 35 degrees, okay? Um, another question that might show up in class is, let's say instead of a radius, let's extend this radius to make a diameter, okay? Um, so what does a diameter do? It cuts the circle in half. If you remember, a circle is 360 degrees, and let's label this point C, okay? And let's say the question said, what is the measure of arc AC? So we're going from here all the way to here, or here going all the way to here. It doesn't matter because you'll get the same answer. Half of 360 is 180 degrees, okay? Now, let's say another question asked, what is the measure of arc B, C, or this arc from here to here? Well, we know that these two central angles are supplementary to each other because this is a straight line right here. So all we have to do is subtract uh, 35 from 180 degrees. So 180 minus 35 would be 100 and 45 degrees so let's just label that 145 here let's actually label yeah we'll keep that there uh now let's say that we have another diameter okay, so let's extend this line right here so going from here to here and let's name this point d okay and let's say the question asks what, and let's call this uh, this angle 5x right here, okay? There's a couple options, and let's say that it asked, uh, what does x equal, okay? So we have a few options. We, uh, we can notice that this angle, the original angle, 35 degrees, and this angle are both vertical, so we could set them equal to each other. Or if you notice that this line or this angle and this angle are supplementary because they're formed by this straight line right here. Uh, so you could add these two and set them equal to 180. Uh, but uh, I'll, I'll use the vertical angles. So let's do the work over here. So I'll, I'll write 5x equals 35. And how do we get x by itself? This is 5 times x. The opposite of multiplication is division. So we'll divide both sides by 5. So x equals 7. Okay. All right. And uh, another question that they or in your class or your teacher might ask is uh, what is the measure of um, arc A, C, D? So let's write that down. So the measure of arc A, C, D. Okay, so if you notice, look at this one. This one has three letters. Which way are we going to go? So are we going to go A to C and D? Look at how we, how we travel there. So we went from A, then we went counterclockwise to C, and then we went clockwise back to D. Let's not do that. Let's just stay in one direction. Okay, so let's go the other way. Let's go from A 
to C, and then we're still staying clockwise to D. Okay, so um, how are we gonna do this? Well, we know that this is the diameter, so this is 180 degrees from here to here, from A to C is 180 degrees, and then from C to D, uh, we know that these are vertical, so this is 35 degrees. Okay, let's just write, I'll even put the 35 here. Okay, so we're gonna go from A to C, which is 180, plus another 35. Uh, so what's 180 plus 35? I believe that is 215 degrees. Okay. Um, but let's say that uh, another question came about where it said, what is the measure of D, C, a. Okay. Well, we'll start at D. Okay. And we're not going to travel all the way around. Okay. To C and then back to A. We're going to stay in one direction. This time we're going counterclockwise because we want to stay in one direction. So we'll go from D to C to A. And it ends up being the same answer because we're going from 35 degrees plus a 145 plus a 35, so that would be 215 degrees. All right, so um, a few um, vocabulary words. Okay, so uh, first vocabulary word for arcs or for central angles um, or arcs um, are minor arc, Okay, is an arc that is less than 180 degrees. Okay, so let's look at, let's, let's figure out which one the minor arcs are. This one is less than 180 degrees, so this is a minor arc. Okay, this is a minor arc. And that's just a variable, so we're not even going to look at that one. This, Okay, um, so what do you think an arc that's greater than 180 degrees is? So that would be called, the opposite of minor, would be major. Okay, so a major arc is greater than 180 degrees. Okay, so... Mm, that's not greater than 180, that's equal to 180. These two are greater than 180, so this is a major, and this is a major arc. So what are you missing? This one 180 degrees. We have the less than, which is a minor arc. We have the greater than, which is a major arc. But what about the equal? So that would be called a semi circle okay and that would equal 180 degrees so this one this arc ac is a semi circle and that's those are essential angles